Hi, everybody. Welcome back to PCS, Dan. I'm Dan. <laughs> and the Allegheny River. Yeah, it's beautiful. It is beautiful here. So our last warm day of the season. Like. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about pots. Pots okay. one, pot two, and pot three. So this goes back to when I started in sales. Covey and his Seven Habits book was big. And and the pot one, two, three thing hit me. So pot th pot one, things you control. Pot two, things you influence. Pot three, things you don't control. We salespeople t tend to spend a lot of time on pot three. So if we're on the financial side, hey, the markets are killing me, and, and mm -hmm. th things you don't control. There's some naturalness to their reality to what you deal with, but we spend too much time trying to figure them out or blame them or do different things like that. There's a human nature element, though, to it. I, I, it's not like we're sitting there going, hey, I want to go waste a bunch of time and talk about something <laughs> I don't control. So can you talk about how you salespeople can be better focused on the things they control and influence and cope better with those things they don't? This is really hard. It is. It's very hard. I'll use a really bad example, perhaps. You're driving on the highway. <laughs> You've done nothing wrong. Some bozo cuts you off and then gives you the middle finger, right? You didn't do anything. But you yes. think about that all day long. Why was yes. the guy mad at me? Yes. What, what did I do? Yes. Boom, boom. I, example. And I can't control that. Nope. Now, if I swerved and almost made him wreck and he's mad at me, that's a that's whole a different story. Yep. So when we look at sales calls, we don't win 100%. Even highly qualified referrals, it's still only 90% of those close to business. So we're still not closing everything. And we can sit there and wallow in, well, I should have done this. I could have done yes. that. Sometimes it's not us. Sometimes it is just the circumstances of the person in front of us. Yeah, right. Just like so when you're prospecting, as an example, John, what can we actually control? We can control me picking up the phone and making a doubt. Yes. I can't control, do they answer? I can't control, do they talk to me? I can't control, do they agree to meet with me? I can't control, in essence, do they buy from me? Yep. But I can control, pick up the phone and make the call. So what I want to do is, is write down things that I, I can control and do those and do those really, really well. Yep. And then all the other things will, will be added into that play. I Great can't example, control can't whether control one lands on my shirt. and speedboats. So. Oh my goodness. But yeah, f focusing in on those things. And, and it's okay to spend that time on those things you influence too. Um, if you're trying to get particular outcomes, do your best with them. So don't don't abandon those. But we waste a lot of time. And I think your example about driving is a great one. Of course, talk to a lot. <laughs> talk to a lot of people, and they're like, "Yeah, they seem distracted," and, and they'll talk about that kind of experience or something that happened as they were driving from point A to point B. And it doesn't matter. Don't control it. It's past anyways. Right. And in the sales, especially, we need to have short term memory. Yes. So that if if we lose a sale or don't get a sale, however you want to phrase that, yep. it's OK. Don't let it pull you down for the rest of the week. Just yes. go, OK, from I'm now going to do. I'll give you a real quick example. I, I had a sale did not come through. Hold that thought. Thank you. Yep. I had a sale <laughs> that did not come through. It was about five hours a month in training. Didn't get it. So I was ticked at first. Right. And yep. then I go, what am I going to do about it? I can't control it now. So I blocked off in my calendar five hours a month. And during those five hours time blocks that I would have been training, I'm going to be prospecting. Yes. So sometimes you can take things that you can't control, make it things you can, and it changes. Yeah, I, I think the other big thing to, to that point is if you have a good, robust pipeline, you're less concerned about those ones <laughs> that you didn't get because you got plenty of opportunities right. coming up ahead. Keep that pipeline healthy, and it changes your attitude in a lot of ways. Totally agree. So, all right, everybody. See you again tomorrow. Take care.